How to use custom post statuses for multi-step post moderation. In other words, how to define several stages of approval for a post to pass through before it is published. To do this, you'll need the Press Permit Core plugin and also the PP Custom Post Statuses extension plugin and the PP Collaborative Editing Pack extension plugin. These are both part of the Press Permit Pro package. I've defined a custom post type called Reviews. On this sample library site, these could be book reviews, music reviews, or magazine reviews. Library members will be enabled to submit unpublished reviews. Volunteers will be able to examine those reviews within the WordPress backend and reject or recommend them. Library staff can examine those recommendations and move the post status to either rejected or approved. Finally, a library manager can examine the approved reviews and delete or publish them. Let's begin by defining these post statuses. Under the Permissions menu, click Post Statuses. You can also define your own post privacy statuses, but for this example, we're working with post moderation statuses. Pending is the status that WordPress normally sets when a contributor submits a post without publishing capabilities. Press Permit frames this as a post moderation status and adds an additional such status called approved. You can disable the approved status if it doesn't fit your usage. In this case, I'd like to make it available, but only for the review post type. So I'll click the edit link and change the post type selection. Then click update. To create a new moderation status, click the add new link up top. The name needs to be lowercase with no spaces and will be converted if you forget. Label is the human readable equivalent used for on-screen captions. The order value of each of the moderation statuses indicates the normal progression from status to status. If a user does not have the publishing capability, the moderation status order determines which of their selectable statuses should be associated with the primary save button in the publish meta box. I'm going to leave this blank for now to accept the default value. Then I'll discuss the order selections after all the new statuses are created. You can see that the new statuses were created with a default order of 14, in between pending and approved. The status progression order is not forced, but does determine the behavior of the published meta box. Users who don't have the publish capability, but do have access to all of the moderation statuses, will see an approved button here in place of the publish button. That's because the approved status has the highest order. I'd like to ensure that users who have editing access to the recommended, needs work, and rejected statuses have a recommend button in their publish meta box. To do that, I'll increase the order of the recommended status. If you're wondering what's going on behind the scenes, the show capability mapping link indicates the capabilities required to edit or delete a post which is set to one of these statuses or to set it to that status. The required capabilities will be further mapped to correspond to the post type in question. It's possible to satisfy these requirements by manually adding the capabilities to a WordPress role, but Press Permit makes it a lot easier. First, let's enable our library members to submit reviews. Library member is a WordPress role. Just select the review post type, the contributor role, and standard statuses, which will include the pending status. Then click Save. Next, we'll give our volunteers the ability to recommend or reject submitted reviews. Volunteers is a custom defined permission group. Select the review post type, 
the editor role and the recommended and rejected statuses. Then click Save. Next, our library staff needs the ability to approve reviews. Go back to the Permissions menu and click Groups. Library staff is a WordPress role. By default, the Permissions group list includes both custom-defined groups and WordPress roles. We can find the library staff metagroup on the second page. Select the review post type and the editor role. Standard statuses for the editor role includes the publish capability. We don't want library staff to publish other users' submissions directly. So instead, I'll just assign this editor role for all the custom moderation statuses. By granting this role for the recommended and rejected statuses, we allow library staff members to examine the reviews which other users have set to these statuses. Needs work and approved are additional post statuses which other users do not have the ability to set. Click the Add Role button and Save Roles. Finally, I'll give library managers the ability to publish reviews. We've defined library management as a WordPress role. There it is. To allow them to edit and publish other users' reviews, select the review post type, the editor role, and the standard statuses checkbox. Don't forget to save. By the way, we would normally also need to assign a separate supplemental role of review editor for each of the custom moderation statuses that these users can set. But that's not necessary for the library management role. And if we take a look at the Capability Manager screen, you'll see why. Under the Permissions menu, go to Role Capabilities and select the Library Management role. Scroll down to see all the capabilities assigned to this role. The presence of the PP Moderate Any capability in a user's WordPress role exempts them from all custom moderation status capability requirements. That means if the user has the standard editing capabilities for a post type, they can also edit posts of any moderation status and set any moderation status. So our supplemental role of review editor also enables library managers to edit other users' recommended or approved reviews. Now let's put these roles to work. I'll begin by logging in as a library member to submit a new review. Under Reviews, click Add New. I'm going to create three different reviews to demonstrate the moderation process. So I've submitted three reviews, and now I'll log in as a volunteer to recommend or reject these reviews. By the way, I'm using the Peters Login Redirect plugin to force all users to the dashboard instead of their profile screen at Login. You can see the pending reviews linked in the Right Now meta box. In this case, that caption is a little ambiguous. Reviews is actually the post type name, so in other cases we might see a link for pending pages or pending posts. To change the post status, I can click this edit link in the publish meta box and then select the status in the drop down. In this case, the desired status is recommended, so I can use the button as a shortcut instead. I need to reject this post, so I'll click the edit link, select the status, click OK, and then click the Save as Rejected button.
so the submitted book reviews so the submitted book magazine and website reviews have all been recommended or rejected by this volunteer now let's log in as a library staff member for further moderation the peters collaboration emails plugin may be a nice supplement to this system i'm not sure if that plugin supports custom post statuses but if not, that could probably be added with a little further development. This website review looks legitimate, but the wording is a little sloppy and sparse. As a library staff member, one of the post statuses that I have available is Needs Work. I'm going to select that to send it back to the submitter for further revision. To make this work, we'll also need to give library members a supplemental role of review contributor for the needs work status. Finally, let's log in as a library manager to publish approved reviews. I need to give library members one more supplemental role so they can see and edit their own submissions which have been marked with a needs work status. Under the permissions menu, click groups, narrow this listing down to WP roles, there's the library member metagroup, and I'll just add a role of review contributor for the post status of needs work. Click save, and now the original contributor can work on that submission more. Remember, multi-step moderation can be customized with your own post statuses and supplemental role assignments. Press Permit can also work with the post statuses defined by the Edit Flow plugin. I'll cover that in a different video.